after a week in which our green and pleasant land ended up looking like this. What's the weather got in store for the coming days? Your full forecast in around 20 minutes. Plus, I'll be mapping out the forecast for the coming days with another burst of very warm weather on the way for some. talk a little bit more about it. And Becky, it's been a really busy week for you and other forecasters, hasn't it? It really has. It certainly kept us out of mischief. Mm. And uh, <laughs> from an egotistical point of view, we all love a big weather story because everyone makes us feel very important. But it certainly has been a very, very busy week, as Lucrezia said. We've got a new temperature record, 40.3 degrees, which is sort of exciting and alarming in equal measures. But what has been equally interesting has been the huge come down from the weather, the drop in temperature and therefore the comparisons 35 to 22 there at the Scottish borders Lincolnshire 40 down to 28 some blessed relief for many and it really has been a quite sort of UK wide experience really we are expecting to see these temperatures still being confirmed but widely 10 to 15 degrees cooler day on day. So the temperature chat has been really what's dominated the conversation this week, but also it's been very dry indeed. That's not so much what people are talking about, but this really is becoming a very significant issue across some parts of the UK. You can see the ground is absolutely parched here. For example, the Isle of Wight, just until yesterday when they did get some rain, had only recorded point two of a millimetre of rain so far in July. Incredibly dry indeed, as you can see. And certainly the farmers are really needing that rain now for the early crops they put in the ground just a few months ago. Let's have a look at the forecast, see if there's any rain on that. Well, it really has been an extraordinary week of weather, as we've been saying. And really, over the next couple of days, we can think, expect things to be an awful lot more unsettled, certainly compared to what we've seen over the last few days. And we are expecting it to be often wet and windy across the north and west. Mostly dry, though, in the southeast, where we really, really need the rain. And once again, feeling very warm. But just to allow that, we're not going to expect temperatures to be reaching the, you know, into the 30s once again, but certainly into the high 20s for some is expected. So let's have a look at what's going on on the bigger picture. Well, high pressure really dominated the story this week. It's now moved off the scene a little bit, really opening the doors to the Atlantic, allowing those rain-bearing Atlantic frontal systems to squeeze on the ice bars as well. For some, we are expecting quite a windy, blustery sort of weekend, but always those southeastern parts being drier. We've still got a thunderstorm warning in force until 10 o'clock this evening across the southwestern parts but then that melts off the scene and really it is going to be a fairly unsettled night for some with that rain coming and going but look out towards the west the next collection of rain bearing atlantic frontal systems starts moving in and then into tomorrow well we are expecting a dry start to the day but then those showers starting to move in from the west some heavy potentially thundery breezy as well and for sunday once again away from the far southeast it's a mixture of sunny spells and showers and quite warm there as well. So Becky, 40 is a bit much, but still some nice warm temperatures coming up. Still some nice warm temperatures. And I have to say, when I spoke to the forecaster earlier on, there is the potential for things getting quite warm again a couple of times this summer. So you'll be happy at least. Well, I will be. Becky, thank you. <laughs> no problem.